So even young chimps know how to get what they want through manipulation and deception. But what about human children? To find out how young our instinct to deceive kicks in, we've rigged this classroom with hidden cameras and got some school kids to help their teacher with a tempting task. And what is this for? It's a teacher's birthday today and we have to decorate the cake for her. So with these sweets, you're going to decorate the cake. You have to start decorating the cake. But we mustn't eat any of the sweets, OK? Why? Because we're not allowed to. I'm going to go and collect something from the room next door, OK? They've been left alone with a very tempting bowl of sweets that they're not allowed to eat. When chimps use deception, they check the alpha isn't looking and hide their deceit away from view. Now let's see if these cheeky little monkeys do the same. Unsurprisingly, it's not long before they decide to break the rules. But will they own up to their sweet deceit? I didn't eat any of them. You didn't? Did you eat any of the sweets? No. Did you eat any of the sweets? Did you not? OK. Do you have any of the sweets? No. You can have one now for helping me decorate the cake, OK? I also have pink and purple. No, you can only have one. OK. So just how ape-like was the cheeky monkey's behaviour? As soon as the teacher left, they started to look out for the person in charge to avoid being caught in the act, just like chimps. When they knew the coast was clear, they took what they wanted. But not one of the little devils owned up to their sweet-stealing sins. They all pleaded not guilty, hiding their deceit from their leader like a chimp hiding its deceit away in the bushes. Deception came naturally to all the kids. They've already got the first skill needed to manipulate their way around a group. It's a skill that, like apes, we start learning from an extremely young age. A young child, for instance, thinks that when they close their eyes or hide their eyes, nobody else can see them. But gradually they learn that others can have a different point of view. Now that is important, not just for our social interaction, but actually, ultimately, it allows us to manipulate each other and to deceive. Incredibly, by the age of four, 90% of us are already skilled in the art of deception. But primates have another tactic for securing their place in the group, forming alliances. See how these top macaques go about stealing food from a house. They've teamed up together in order to commit their daylight robbery. To find out if we humans also team up with partners in crime, we're going back to our naughty kids. We're putting two of them together and leaving them on their own with the sweets. They know they're not supposed to eat them. Don't eat any. So will they talk each other out of gobbling up the goodies or become partners in crime? It's not long before they both give in to temptation. And by sharing the spoils, they create a bond. They're both as guilty as each other, but it looks as though they're quite enjoying it. That's because, like primates, humans build coalitions with each other and form strong bonds. It's something that chimps are especially good at. Chimps form alliances and mini coalitions to help hold their position in the group. If things kick off, it's good to have others to watch your back. For chimps, achieving dominance is all about winning fights. And you're always in with a better chance if it's two against one. The best coalition an ape can make is with the alpha male. 
In the short term, sacrificing yourself to gain favour with the boss can be the very best strategy to get ahead in the long term.